Okay, so let's take a look at this. See your action here. Um, there we go. So the one thing that we really started to focus on the start was your footwork. And this session was a little bit more focused on how you moved your weight, when you moved your weight in your swing, and how it affected your upswing or your follow-through power. So here's the swing on the left, and I'll play it for you here. We can see that we've got a great early hinge to the club, which I really like. And as you swing to the top, you can see that your head starts to go toward the door. Right there. So that tells me that you've moved a lot of your weight in front of the ball. Uh, the pressure is probably on your front foot. And if it's on your front foot, then there's no way that you can push forward from there. So what we find... Well, the other thing that we talked about as well, just to point it out, was all of this led to a, a shorter backswing. Your glove got to your ear. So as you start to power this down, it's sort of out of sequence. So your weights forward, your arms start to drive in really fast, which pop you up. And because your weight's already forward, you start to fall backwards. The falling backwards opens you up a whole bunch, and now your arms start to get their speed. And your arms get most of their speed from, well, on the left side of this orange line, on the way up. So we see here, not a great look, a great, you know, the camera's not awesome here, but we can see that there's your arm and there's your golf club. So we haven't had any, uh, call it re-hinging of that club. You know, at this stage of the game, we'd hopefully, and we'd plan to be, you know, somewhere along that red line, and it's over here on this yellow line. So um, as we revert back to what, we're actually trying to get out of this uh, um, idea or this concept here is that on your backswing, if you look here on the right, on your backswing, we're trying to get the body to open its way up first. So, you know, you talked about a one-piece takeaway. If that's what you feel, that's what you feel. Um, the hips have to open their way up, which means they point kind of toward the camera. And then from there, the arms are supposed to take over. So... Let's take a look here at the sequence of how you get it together. We're going to see a little bit more opening of the body first. And when you can open your body and feel as though that your weight comes off of this front foot, I think that as you take this to the top, we start to get a little bit of a, a better backswing, a more athletic position. You can see your head doesn't move in front or into the door, and your hands actually get higher you can see that now your hands are actually above your head. So we were able to create a little bit more, well, you have a chance to create more power, but it's not about the power. This is about trying to get the power to happen in the right place. And I think that you had your power happening after the ball was hit, well, most of it. So um, our goal, our, the plan here was to feel in sequence that the hips opened up the most, the upper body opened up the most, and then once those things happened early in your swing, you cranked your weight, your hands all the way up as far as you can go, and you can see here we get a little bit of the teeter-totter. There's your old move, and here you are trying to feel like you can take your weight off that front foot. Then you start moving back, back away from, okay, so that, you can see that that little move right there, I mean, nothing below here changed, but what changed was this right here. So that's kind of your spine angle. You can see that you were probably over here. Come on, move your way over. And then as you go to the other side, you're probably more along the other line, right? All that's really doing is changing the position of your spine. But you ended up doing some really good stuff based on trying to get your weight off of your back foot, so or off of your front foot, sorry. So what we're looking for here, just to keep things really simple for you and, and organized, we're trying to feel as though that you make your backswing where your lower body and your upper body finish their motions, their full ranges of motion, early. And once it happens early, then the arms have room, space, the range of motion increases for them to lift. And then as you lift the arms, you lift the weight off the front foot. And from there, go ahead and hit your shot. And I think that what we talked about in terms of your finish position, I didn't have video for this, was I wanted you to feel as though that you finished your swing. You came through the golf ball here on the left, and you finished your swing with both arms, facing down here toward the ground. That's where the finish position was. And we were going to allow this golf club to hinge its way back up.
And if it happened to bring your arms up a little further, that's okay. But we were not allowing the arms to go anywhere above your sight line because they're just moving too fast and that club was moving too slow. So if you can follow this step, these procedures, I think that you're going to find that uh, it's going to be a um, easy ball striking, um, higher, farther, straighter shots. Uh, kind of a nice combo.